Do you know where you live? Do you see your country? How about your state? Can you find your city? If you look really close, I bet your neighborhood and your street are there too. In the story we're going to read from the Bible, Jesus tells a man what it really means to love your neighbor. In the story, there are a few characters. Listen carefully to see which person really showed the love that Jesus wants us to show. This Bible story is found in Luke chapter 10. The Story of the Good Samaritan This Bible story is found in the New Testament in the book of Luke chapter 10. God's law tells us to love your neighbor as yourself. A man asked Jesus, who is my neighbor? Jesus told this story to show that people of any culture should be treated with kindness. A man was walking along the road from Jerusalem to the town of Jericho when some bad men ran off with his coat and left him lying on the side of the road, badly hurt. The hurt man lay in the hot sun. At last, he saw someone coming past. It was a very holy man who loved to pray. Help me, please, cried the hurt man. But the very holy man took no notice. He walked away on the other side of the road. He didn't stop to help the hurt man. He was too busy praying to God. A very clever teacher from his own town came past. He walked on the far side of the road and pretended not to see the hurt man. He did not stop to help him. A stranger from the country of Samaria came along the road with his little donkey. He saw the hurt man by the side of the road. The man from Samaria was very kind. I will help you, my friend, said the kind man from Samaria. He took care of his wounds and helped him. Then he put him on his donkey's back. He found a place for the man to stay and paid for everything he needed. Jesus wants us to help other people. That is called be being a good Samaritan. Now, here's the big question. Who is your neighbor? That's right, anyone who needs your help. Neighbors are not just the people who live near us. They're not just our friends and family. They're not just the people that go to church with us or the people that believe in God. Neighbors are anyone who needs our help. When we help others, we are showing God's love. Now let's pray. Dear God, help us to be good neighbors and to find ways to help others. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine all the time, let it shine, oh yeah. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine all the time, let it shine, oh yeah. Don't let the devil it out, I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let the devil it out, I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let the devil it out, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine all the time, let it shine, oh yeah. Roll the gospel chariot along. Roll the gospel chariot along. Roll the gospel chariot along. And we won't tag along behind. But if our brother's in the way, we will stop and pick him up. If our brother's in the way, we will stop and pick him up. If our brother's in the way, we will 
stop and pick him up, and we won't tag along behind. And if our sister's in the way, we will stop and pick her up. If our sister's in the way, we will stop and pick her up. If our sister's in the way, we will stop and pick her up, and we won't tag along behind. But if the devil's in the way, we will run right over him. If the devil's in the way, we will run right over him. If the devil's in the way, we will run right over him. And we won't tag along be